seeing as though today is somewhat of an inside vlog, mostly because the weather has been terrible and I've been avoiding the rain with my equipment because otherwise if I take it outside I'll probably break it. Uh, I figured that now would be a good time to actually finally get around to doing my unboxing video which I promised I would do the other day with the big brown box and then never actually got around to doing it. Shoop. Not only did this big brown box arrive but a day or two after that this little one arrived. This one. Which I am equally as excited about opening and hopefully using in these vlogs. But yeah, let's not dawdle anymore. We should probably just get started and open the box. And the first one I'm going to be opening is the one I said I'd open the other day, which is this big brown one. Probably shouldn't throw knives. Still not very good at opening boxes, am I? I can't. Jesus. Why can I never do this? Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, sweet. So in this little box, you've got this little black bag. I'll explain what everything is in a second. You've got this little white box. Here's another white box. This is gonna be a box in within, a, it's like boxception. You have boxes within boxes. Finally, the final white box, which is really heavy. Why are you so heavy? I don't know. Put these over there. Cool. I'm gonna start with the heavy one, see what happens there. Oh, I know what this is. Right, right. This probably gives away what this box is. Quite obvious, really. Uh, this is a light stand. So if you're quite observant, you've probably guessed that I have bought a light. I don't always light my scenes. Uh, I do sometimes, if it's a sit down talking kind of interview type thing, I light them. But most of the time I vlog just out and about, don't I? So I can't really carry a light around with me. But it'll be nice to actually have a light for those situations where I need them. Oh, this is just, I should be careful with this. This is the actual bulb for the light, which will hopefully be half decent and look good on camera. I'm interested to see what this is though. I can't really figure it out. What the, so we've got a stand. I'm assuming this part's the light. This, I have no idea. I don't know. It's a piece of plastic. Oh, here it is. It looks like a snooker cue. It looks like a snooker cue. What is it? Uh-oh, that's probably important. It does look a little bit like a snooker cube. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's the boom arm. I'm, yeah, boom arm. Hmm. And finally, I'm assuming this is the actual light box itself. This is kind of cool. Comes in a nice little bag. Sweet. Oh, hmm. I'm assuming that's the front. Cool. So this is the actual box. So there it is, all set up. Usually in my videos I use that thing behind me which is a completely different style of light and honestly uses a crap ton of electricity. So I'm gonna turn this on now and show you what it actually looks like. So there, as you can see, it is, is a massive difference between having no light and some light. This light is pretty large to be honest. It's probably at least two, two to three feet like tall and about a foot and a half to two foot wide. So this creates a nice, big, soft, bright light, which is great for YouTube because obviously it hides all the blemishes and makes everyone look better than using hard lights. So you may have heard me say the words hard light and soft light there. Um, those two types of lights are completely different and used for different things in different productions. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about that, I'll make a tutorial on it sometime in the future. But for now, I'll drop it in the comments below and say you're interested in that kind of thing and I will actually get around to making it.